can be fun. We no, we no, we no. I can be fun. We no, we no, we no. I just can't touch this, hey. Bitch, I be rich, shit, huh? I just can't touch this, hey. Walk the limp, limp, huh? I'm gonna be ding, 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 ding. What's good? What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl HTM. This is Nishina. Don't lose too much. And you guys are back with another YouTube video. If you're a return subscriber, gang gang, stay the ground, reach free, you are the vibes. If this is your first time clicking my channel, welcome to Boss's Bootcamp, where I teach you all of the essentials of being a business owner. Um, if y'all read the title of this video, you already gonna know I'm showing you how to um, do your own website. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Join too much gangs, baby. Not too much gang, not a gang. And it's just down with that in a period so um i'm probably just gonna do like a voiceover part i might talk a little bit i don't know um but i already have everything set up all the links for the website that i use to create the banners and things like that will be in the description box below so make sure you check that out um but we're gonna jump right into it i'm gonna set y'all up and i'm sure how to get this website done for like 20 dollars okay you don't even pay no value like 20 dollars okay so let's go all right, y'all, so the website that I use is called Etsy. If you've never heard of it before, make sure you check it out. Link in the description. You can literally make all of your graphics for under like $20. So for this video, I just typed in website templates. I selected the Shopify option. It doesn't really matter if you select Shopify or Wix because it works for both because the banner sizes are all the same for websites. So now I'm just scrolling down so you guys can see the different options that they have. They have hundreds on hundreds of options for different themed websites. So whatever you have, it caters to you. I selected one so you guys can see what it would look like once you customize the banner and add everything to the website. Products don't come already uploaded, but you just do that on your own end. And I'll do that in a separate video when I add the banners. So here I just click the read me because these files are downloadable and they usually have links that will take you directly to the website where you can edit and add your own photos and change the words. This one specifically was through Canva, which is my personal favorite. I do pay for Canva Pro. So once you select use this template, it'll bring you to the screen where you're able to edit all of the banners. I always like to start with removing the photos that they have because it just gives me like a better idea of how I want my graphics to go if I need to change like any colors or things like that. Here you see me select the model. I just want to get a good idea of how big they made their graphics so I know how big to insert mine to make it look as realistic as possible. So I apologize, the other part of the screen is cut off, but I just selected upload image. Like I said, I use Canva a lot, so I already have photos uploaded. What I'm gonna do is add my own personal photo. When you guys are uploading your pictures, make sure the picture has a clean background because there's an edit on here after you select edit image that's gonna allow you to remove the background. And you guys can see that's what I'm doing here. So it's generating the background, like the main solid color, and it's gonna remove it and just have me as the main item. So now you're gonna see me size my image to their image because I want it just as big as they had theirs. So like I said, it'll be more realistic. You guys, this is super, super easy. The button that I use for the background remover you do have to have pro it's only $11.99 a month which is super worth it if you're a business owner because you can literally create your own graphics without waiting for turnaround times from different graphic designers so here I'm just sizing it making sure it looks right I end up flipping the image uh, just because I didn't like how my shoulder was cut off and I also made it bigger because I had on a pink bra like why would I do that under that white shirt so I just sized it to make the bra part disappear and to make me look as realistic as possible as if like this is how the banner actually came. So when you buy a DIY template, everything is customizable. The color of the background, the letters, the wording, the font. I personally liked how this banner came, how like the wording and the font everything i didn't change anything but at the top you guys can see that this is the libre franklin bold if you wanted to change that you could 
my main thing with these templates is I just like to customize them to fit my website and the things that I sell. So, of course, I'm known for wholesale, so I just made this wholesale lashes, and I changed the size of it because my word wholesale was bigger than their word new that they use, and I just sized it to make sure that everything looks right. And again, everything is customizable. So if you wanted to use a different calligraphy, if you wanted to fill in the word wholesale, you would be able to do that with the tab bar at the top. I liked how this looked. I think it has like a really pretty aesthetic to it. Usually I go for like a pink and gold or pink and white or holographic look. So this one was perfect. So here I'm just showing you the final look. I really liked how that looked. It looks super, super real, super professional. And I ended up moving on to the next one. Now here you can see me click upload image and my file will automatically pop up and I'll just select what image I want to upload next. What I really like about Canva is that any image you upload stays in that bank forever so you don't have to keep re-uploading the same images. So here again, I'm going to add the photo click edit image and remove that background so in this one you can see a little bit of the background is still there I didn't feel like removing it so I just put it more downward so that you wouldn't be able to see those pieces and then I duplicated this image right in the right hand corner So I really thought this one looked good, so I just moved on to the next one, which is the selfies one. And this is for your customers or your clients to send you photos or videos of them once they use your products or get them installed or whatever it is you sell. So first, I'll always, always put my Instagram on there because, hello, that's how people find you. So you want to always make sure you put your Instagram on there. And then I'm going to show you how to remove that photo of their model and size it with the iPhone for a photo that you have. So again, I'm just going to my image bank and uploading an image that I've already used before. And then I'm gonna see how it fits the iPhone. Now this one fit perfectly. I really like this picture of myself. So I'm gonna tilt the photo to kind of like mimic how the iPhone is aligned. And then once everything is sized, there is a button at the top that says positions. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the iPhone and tap forward. Now what this does is it puts the iPhone in front of the image so that it looks like the picture is on the iPhone, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to continue to size the photo to make it look as realistic as possible. Um, it might take you a few tries. I know on one of my other videos, someone said like there is a button that you can use to automatically size with the iPhone. I don't remember uh, what it was called. But yeah, for the most part, this is what I usually do. Just size it and make sure that everything is just aligned. So like I said, I'm going to bring the iPhone forward. I'll push the photo backwards and this is just going to give it that realistic look. So I'll let you guys watch me do that. So here's the final product. I'm just sizing everything, making sure it looks right. I took that bold line and I actually crossed the bottom so it looks like the iPhone and the image are cut off. Because really the main goal with these graphics is symmetry. So if you can get symmetry down when you're doing this and use the lines that they provide, so like the blue lines and the purple lines to see whether you're inside or symmetrical with everything else on the page, then you'll be just fine using Canva. So here's the final look. It came out so good, y'all. I loved it. I actually did notice that the little gold splatter was inside of my picture, so I just made it smaller. But 
just make sure you're looking over your graphics so you don't miss small things like that but y'all these came out so so good um i'm going to show you guys now how to remove the background image and usually those images are way bigger so you just double tap right below the banner and then just tap delete and it'll delete it in this video i also show you guys how to add a graphic in the back just like how they did so again go to your image bank tap the image that you want to use and i think i uploaded a new one for this so again super easy once the photo populates you're going to go ahead and remove that background and i'm sorry you guys that it's cut off but it just says edit photo and then remove background also what you want to do when you're putting images in the background you make them bigger again than the actual banner and then there's going to be a button at the top right next to that roller looking thing and it says transparency you're going to turn the transparency all the way down so that it kind of like blends in the background And I think since my internet had kicked me offline is why my image that was there had deleted. But this is where you guys see me flip that image. And it comes out just so professional, so clean. Um, I really love this template. I highly recommend you guys use her store. I'm going to leave it in the link below. Um, just because she has some super, super affordable DIY templates. This one specifically was $14.99. And literally, this is all you need to make a website everything is just graphics and uploading them into the correct spots on your website and again i'll show you guys how to upload in the next video so here i'm just showing you the final results of the banners now these are the main banners the ones that people first see when they click your websites the next type of banners we're going to do are going to be your collectibles which will be like shop our accessories shop our sunglasses things like that those are the small collectibles that actually go under these banners so i always keep the suggested standards for downloads and that's just png so once you tap download at the bottom you'll see it downloading and then all of the images will pop up once they're saved on your computer so for 14.99 this is what you get it looks pretty damn good to me super professional super clean what i really like about canva as well is that once you download all of your files they put it in a folder for you so you can always type in that folder name to get all of your images when you're ready to upload So now what we're going to do is go back to the instruction page and click collection link. And again, it's going to take you right back to Canva, use template, and everything is going to generate. Now I went to the bottom one because it already said lashes and I just added my own images. You guys, it's literally the same exact process of how I showed you in the beginning. You're going to select your images, upload them, whatever it is you want to upload or whatever you want to be the face front of your graphic design and you just repeat all of those steps for each one of your collectibles i'm gonna go ahead and speed up this part please enjoy the montage footage of me adding my images and sizing and everything if you guys have any questions about anything that i've done in this video if or if something was unclear please let me know in the comments down below i'll be sure to comment back to you guys but until the next video i will see you guys later bye So that's it y'all it's not hard at all 
to create your own website banners in my next video um i'm going to show you guys how to upload these banners onto your website which is really easy it's very self-explanatory um but i'm going to show you like how to put the website together adding products on there things like that so yeah y'all i hope this video helps somebody making a website is not hard it's not expensive at all if you just take the time to learn so thank you guys for allowing me to teach you just a little um you know what i'm saying about making a um diy templates for your website if you guys have any questions about anything that i did on here please leave them in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next boss camp yeah my hair is giving but see y'all later Bye.